Hi, my name is Matthijs Vandermars and welcome to Utrecht, the Netherlands. Before we can start talking about Dutch culture and theater, we have to get some prejudices out of the way. Over the years, I've lived in a couple countries around the world, like Spain, Canada, and the United States of America. And wherever I go, people hear my accent and ask me where I'm from. When I tell them I'm from the Netherlands, sometimes they don't know where it is. But when I tell them that the capital of uh, the Netherlands is Amsterdam, they all, always assume that I always smoke weed, go to the red light district, and wear wooden shoes. That is not true, even though obviously like the stereotypes came from something, as you can see behind me. Right now I will tell you something more about the Dutch culture, like other things it has to offer except for weed, prostitutes and wooden shoes. One of the ways in which Dutch culture is represented in Dutch theater is that Dutch theater, like the Dutch themselves, is very down to earth. One of the areas in which this is very obvious is the end of the year comedy show where a famous comedian is invited to make a show about all the major things that happened that year. In these shows, these comedians make a lot of fun of themselves and of the Dutch. They see a lot of people around them in the world being very stubborn and making big issues out of small things. They find funny and easy solutions for this because they are so down to earth. This is the reason why we make the saying don't make an elephant out of a fly. In these end of the year shows, a lot of political issues are brought to light too. This is something that's a trademark for Dutch culture and has been going on for centuries. Back when Holland was in war with his colony Indonesia, Holland did a lot of bad things, which they apologized for years later. But however, even though they did such bad things, they still brought, brought these things to light, not only in TV and in the media, but also in theater. In a show called Multatuli, a true story about an Indonesian man is told. Even though the Dutch government is put in a very bad light in this show, they still made it. Unlike some other cultures where only shows are produced that put their countries in a very good light. Over the years, the Dutch culture has become a big melting pot of other cultures from, from all sorts of origins. They've done the same thing with their theater. Unlike some cultures where they take the traditional way, like the Greek tragedies or Shakespeare, the Dutch have found their own way. When they were occupied by Spain and France, they took some of their parts of theater, and when they were very influential in England, they took some parts of theater from there as well. Now they have found their own way in theater that's completely original. To summarize, the Dutch culture doesn't exist of just prejudices that everybody knows, like weed and prostitutes. It has a lot more to offer. The Dutch are very down to earth, they are not afraid to put political issues to the light, and they're a big melting pot of different cultures. This was Matthijs Vandermars from Utrecht, the Netherlands.